Passion of Prayer. How many years now? That's when Jack Dio was, was, yeah, was, was, was yeah, before, that was before, um, before the, yes, um, yeah. the man who succeeded yes, Jack Dio. Yes, uh, yes, okay. What's his name again? Uh, uh, President Ramuta. Uh, uh, it was yes, the time so. of President yeah. Jack Dio. Show me other place. Yes, yes, yes. Now uh, I noticed that yeah. Mr. Harmon has said that the Exxon contract is final and okay. will not be subject yeah, yes. to any change. Any so changes. all the dialogue that's going on, you know, they said it's final. But besides that, we see that the, the UK-based company Tolau Oil and Gas, yes. they said studies point to $1 okay. billion dollars in their block, that is in our yes, yes, block. Yes. So there's a lot of oil all around. Not a lot of oil, a lot, lot of oil. Of oil. Yes. And um, we hope that it will result, uh, we, uh, redound what, what, to the what, what benefit of the what, country. What are we going to do with so many oils, or so much, so much oil? Maybe next thing you, 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 you might Does drink. drink oil? Yeah. <laughs> yes. You can't drink that kind of oil. Yes. It's not extra virgin olive oil. Yes, or yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Now, the Muslim scholar yes. who was uh, brought before the courts for alleged rape of, yes, of right. you know, young boys in Safari. Yes, right. He's been committed to stand trial, yes. you know, for the alleged rape of the boys in Safari. What's your the DPP people that are DPP? The DPP is still um, the same uh, lady. Yeah. She's, she's a, a, a Muslim too. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yes. Okay, go ahead. And then um, we see the NIS is re-examining its investment in the Burberry's mm -hmm. Bridge. They've been getting dismal financial returns over the last couple of years and so they're re-examining re, uh, re yes. their investment, whether to continue or not. They haven't made any decision okay. whether to withdraw or what. Or what. But they, they have done that. So what about Deodat Sharma? What, he, what he's doing? Oh, well, Deodat yes, Sharma, yes. he is looking into yes. the city hall now. That's right. You know, because they're... they're, they're, they're Corruption. They're, yeah, they're seeing the finance man was sick. Yes, When yes. he was supposed to be yes, there. That's right. At, 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 at a, yes. a, 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 a meeting yes, there. Yes. So they're definitely going to investigate okay. city hall thoroughly. Now, with the... A lot of Venezuelans... A report says that they... Venezuela has 90% poverty right now with, okay. with the crisis that yes. is ongoing. Many of them are fleeing to other countries, like especially okay. Colombia, Brazil, yes. the Netherlands, Antilles, yes. like Curacao, yes. Aruba, yes. Yes. and to Trinidad, and to lesser extent Guyana. But even in Guyana, it's creating some yes. problems that we need to have uh, Mr. Felix yes. and the NGOs and the UN organizations working together so that we, we, we can deal with the Venezuelan who come over here in, in a structured way. Okay. We, can, we can have, uh, uh, what is happening that a lot of the women are going to the nightclubs now. Yes. Uh, yeah, one guy told me that he saw about 100 in, in, in one nightclub, and, you know, and he, uh, he said they're Venezuelans, not Colombians okay, or, or okay, okay. Domin from the yeah, Dominican yes. Republic. So yes. we need to monitor the situation yeah. and, and to deal with it properly. Let and show you show yeah. a, huma a humanitarian outlook. Yeah. You know, uh, some of them who are qualified. You know, they 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 have teachers among yeah. them and all of that. They should be they should be. Uh, so today we are touch we are touch on the um, health and crime. Very 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 important very important agriculture. Yeah. Oh, there was a loud noise. People were complaining two nights ago yeah. on, the, on the eve of the, of, of, of Republic Day. Yes. And there was a place, a, a nightclub at the corner of Lamaha and Albert Street where they, they couldn't sleep all night. Okay. And nobody you call the police, it's a waste of time. We, what we need to do, we, we need to have, the city council should be enforcing stricter zoning, um, the, 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 the zoning regulations stricter. Yes, that's you know, true. Not, yes, that's you can't true. open a nightclub in a residential area. It's ridiculous. They, they allowed all of this to happen over okay. the recent years. You know. I'll never touch sugar now. Well, sugar, they, they said that... Um, the, some financing for Gaisuko, not the four closed estates. Okay. Right? They're not close, close, close the estates, fully. Full. No, four estates are closed. Close estates are closed. But um, the, the, there's some financing being gathered for Gaisuko itself. I don't know how, how, how that. But, uh, yeah, they said Edmore, Edmore's reopening is in three weeks, yes, so we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens yes, there. Yes. Edmore. And we'll see uh, if DDL will be taking that over. You know, there was a lot of talk about DDL being involved in that. I'm waiting for the agriculture minister now. Are you functioning? Are you yeah. still functioning? Well, I guess he's still there. I see uh, your, your former mayor is, is coming in there. Yes, yes. 
Prime Minister. Yes. Yes. So. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, the Agriculture Minister yes. is still there. Okay. And um, he's, he's, he, you know, some people have been criticizing him, but we'll see what we'll, uh, we'll have to judge his performance yes, yes, on, yes. on the results. Yes. 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 Uh, because. There's been some work done in other areas in, in the Rupununi. Yeah. And so we're talking about the RIC industry now. The RIC, the RIC trouble. Well, I, I think there, there, there's new markets now. Okay. There are new markets for, for RIC, okay. especially in, in places like Mexico and uh, yeah. Cuba and elsewhere. Okay. There are new markets. Mr. Green, about your program, advice to the people. Thank you. Yeah. I Green? hope everyone had a good match. Yes, yes. Very nice yesterday. Sanya, I have a good match. Yes, no, good I, match? No, I didn't, I didn't go. I, I was out there and I saw people from Mexico Coast, yeah. from Region 6, Borbis, okay. and uh, some folks came from Rupununi. Yes. But they're having their exercise okay. on the third of the month. Yes. Uh, yes. Spoke with the mayor this morning. Uh, we understand you got the got a lot of oil now. A lot of oil. Hmm? Lot of, lot of oil, no. Oil. Oil, oil, oil. The British say that they found yeah. some, uh, that the studies have shown that their operations yeah. in the orange juke block, yeah, yeah. tallow, oil and gas, that yeah. they, they have billions to get to. How was your view? How about the chair on your view with the oil? You know, I've said it before on this oil question, there seems to be a little bit of confusion about okay. it. First of all, <coughs> As someone who's been around a long time, I have great faith that the minister and the president must know what they're doing in the circumstances of the world today. Oil is a very tricky thing. My fear is that many citizens feel that there's going to be a sudden bonanza. Um, people who have been having two meals a day will be able to have four and that sort of thing. <laughs> It's not going to happen that way. Okay. Secondly, that we must know that Exxon and all the oil companies aren't angels. Okay. We have to begin by understanding yeah. they've come to do business and where they can exploit small countries. Ghana is a small country in spite of our um, okay. physical size. Yes. We're less than a million people. Yes. And the other point we need to take cognizance of is that We've been talking about oil for six or seven to eight years. Yes, right. yes, yes. I, I know that. And the fact that these people have come on board yes. must be a credit to the negotiations and the present environment. Yes. And we must not expect okay. perfection. Yes. I told this to some of my friends who are very critical. Okay. The other thing is, you didn't see me for a few weeks because I was out of the jurisdiction. Okay. I was in Rupununi. Okay. Uh, fantastic things are happening there. I was over to Bonfin and Boa Vista. Okay. In those two Brazilian uh, towns, yes. I saw hundreds of Venezuelans yes. camping out yes. in the parks okay. because of poverty in Venezuela. Okay, okay. Venezuela is an oil producing country. Yes, that's true. I make that point to say to our people that oil will not necessarily be a bonanza. It will give a responsible government that we have now an opportunity to yes. provide certain infrastructure, health, education, I've said so before. And we've got to get rid of this idea okay. that it's going to turn things around okay. overnight. In Venezuela, I'm repeating myself, I saw it with my own eyes, yes. begging. In fact, the president of Brazil went to Boa Vista the day after I left yes. there to see what he can do about this influx of Venezuelans who are running from Caracas and other okay. ports in Venezuela because of hard times. And they've got oil. Okay. And as our neighbors, our people should take, not comfort, take an understanding yes. that what can happen if there's bad management. I believe that those who have been critical, even unnecessarily critical, are exercising their democratic right. Okay. At the same time, we who are responsible must be able to put a balance yes. to this hype, okay. this craziness, 
that they're trying to insert in the society that the government is giving away our resources. Okay. When I left Rupnu, I was concerned about another matter. And I'm writing about it. I flew over the Pataro, um, Masroni area, and Madia. And I was horrified at the level of destruction taking place. Okay. I remember going there years ago and walking through the area, campaigning, drinking water from the streams. How about you born in Tang? Huh? Born in Rizzi. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, I won't yeah. put my boots in there now. Yeah, you yeah, can't. So mining, yeah. huh? mm -hmm. And it's irresponsible, both by local and alien gold miners. Yeah. I think the government must put it in. We can't talk about a green economy and have people destroying our environment, they're no longer birds, they're no longer fish in those areas. Yeah. What will we tell our grandchildren? Okay. Yeah, the EPA, the Environmental Protection Agency, should be looking at that as well. Well, I hope so. Okay. Uh, I know they're concerned. Yeah. The problem is how to stop okay. this. You look, <laughs> I was in Matthews Ridge sometime last year. And it's an area I know very well, because you know, I travel all over yes. Guyana. And the road between Matthews Ridge yes. and Port Kaituma, yes. the new developers could not use it okay. <coughs> as they're seeking to get the manganese yes. to the port, to the Atlantic, yeah. because people have just gone in there on what was a road, what was an old railway, okay. and dig it up. There's no longer a, a, a passageway. Yeah, GGM. Unbelievable. GGMC should work along with the, the Ministry of Public Infrastructure to ensure that they... they, they Let me touch on uh, sugar workers now, position. I haven't briefed myself in it recently, okay. but I understand that they're very contented, most yeah. of them. Yes. You'll have those who will always yeah. want to make a political issue. What I think is good is that the union, uh, and they say better late than never, the union has now recognized that in the interest of the sugar workers themselves, they've got to link their trade union activity from the political scene. GAU has been used as a political assault weapon for the PP for years. That's right. I think, thank God, they now recognize okay. that the interests of the workers must be primus. Yes. And that is where I see them going. And that's a good sign. I have to have a Harman position. What a Harman position? Harman, Harman, what do no, you say? No, Harman said you can't change the extra yeah. contract. That's fine. What is your view on that? I'm not a lawyer. I don't know. But if Mr. Harman says so, he must know what yeah. he's saying. Uh, the contract, as it is, yes. will benefit Guyana. Yes. It could be in any arrangement, any contract, any relationship, that you can always look at it two, three, four, five years after to have it reviewed. OK. And the world is not yeah. static. The world is changing. Suppose tomorrow oil prices dip more. Yes. <clears throat> we must be able to live in those circumstances. Okay. And I say to the Guyanese public, yeah. yes. don't rely on oil alone. Okay. There are other minerals. Yeah. There's sugar. There's bauxite. Yeah. I was in the room and I saw the biggest mangoes. Okay. The problem was get it out. Okay. Uh, to, um, to the marketplace on the coast. Okay. And they felt the planting everything yeah. in that sand. Let me, everything. Touch, let me touch on the health facility right now in Guyana. The what? Health, 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 health. Health. Yeah, health. What, what about it? The ministers trying our best in the circumstances. Okay. Um, we've got to get ourselves in the 21st century in health. But I believe, based on our economy, the minister's doing a very good job and she should be congratulated. Okay. The problem with any service, and I have relatives who live in other countries, okay. sometimes revolve around the attitude of middle management. Okay. You've got excellent nurses, okay. uh, excellent ward maids, but like everything else, you have some of those okay. who let the side down. Okay. And like the police force. Yeah. You heard the president the other day talk about yes. it. Yes. What we need to do is at public places like this, persuade those involved that we're aiming 
for a higher plateau. We're trying to go up and not go down. It's okay. that easy. Okay. Colin, hello. Hello. Yes, your name, please. Oh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I just heard about the cane. Yes. I am seeing a lot of the the young people or children are taking the education. Yes. And when you ask them what they want to do, yes. Somebody wants to cut cane. Yes. So what? they want to be lawyers oh, and okay, doctors. Okay, okay. They tell you that. Yes. Now these older people are crying. Now they want back to factory. Yes. They're getting older. So what's going to do? What's going to happen to the young people with all the education because they don't want to cut kids? Okay. So what are you all going to do for them because they don't want to cut kids? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. It again. It has yes, to do with attitudes. Yes, the yes. family. Yes. I remember, <laughs> as as a young fellow, Burnham as a relative had to come to say farewell to my mother before he left. Yes. And the colonial secretary then, uh, when he said he wanted to do engineer, asked him and others, "What will you do with an engineering degree?" So up to that time, it was either law or medicine. Okay. Thank God, people are now recognizing the importance of arts itself and science because science is going to drive the world. I think we've reached a point in education where it must be a balance. We need the artists, okay. we need the lawyers, yes. I think we have too many ready, yes. and we need the medical people, we need the scientists, people who will look into yes. oil, yes. so that we produce a balanced society of professional people. Okay. Call again, Mr. Sam, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Your panel. Yes. I have known in 30 papers where they said a man was charged for poisoning the cocoa trees at Hope Estate. What is your yes, comment? Yes, I heard about that. Yes. Yes. Charged for what? Poisoning the coconut tree. Poisoning the coconut tree. Yeah. I hadn't heard that. Uh, that I, was, I, I that's did. A serious, I heard that. Serious, serious, serious. Uh, yeah, yeah. I was in Hope. Uh, uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, Hope Estate yes. Um, three weeks ago. Yes. And I was very excited that the new manager, I don't remember his name, is obviously trying to make something of Hope Estate. It's completely destroyed. Hope Estate? Hope Estate. Oh, yeah. It's completely destroyed by the last Which administration. Which manager would know Hope Estate? I don't remember his name, um, but it's a thin Indo-Guyanese, and I'm very impressed with the work he's doing, the leadership he's given to some of the young people oh. there. And he took me through they're trying to produce and improve um, species of coconuts and other plants. Okay. And uh, all in all, they're trying to rehabilitate what was a good estate and was allowed to be run down and par farmed out to PP friends yeah. over the past 20 years. Yeah, that was sabotage. Yeah, yeah. And that was the old Sankari estate, I remember, years back. Yes. That's, that's right, that's right, right. yes. Okay. It was used earlier by yeah. Burnham to help condition the minds of young yes. people in the public okay. service. So he went up there every weekend to learn, to appreciate yes. the importance. Yes. It was an important bit of education. Call you Hello? 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 Let me go back to the... Yeah, there was a yes, yes. Yeah. Let me go back to uh, and Why do you want to have a facility in Guyana? Help, 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 help. So oh, well, what I'm saying, as, 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 as former prime minister said, the minister is trying our best, but we need to decentralize more the essential services. So when if something an accident happens, you don't have to fly to the door. So no, we have you have those no, no, we have received that that company, but health facility, health, health, health. That's a lot of lot of company, lot of company. Yeah, there's a lot of company. Yes. They, they already yes. have yes. Um, a system where you, you could go and look after small matters in in, in those uh, what you call it health centers. Yes. You know, you can go and get tablets here and so on, but uh, some of the essential services, they need to decentralize, like West Demerara. Okay. Uh, so you don't have to bring somebody from Burbies to Georgia okay. to get treatment okay. when they can get that treatment okay. right here. But that, that would take time, I guess, for us to have those. Well, they started West Demerara already. Yes. Yes. It's been converted into the more general hospital. Yes. Yes. It was once, as you know, years ago, it was what called the best hospital, okay. only for people with um, um, tu um, tuberculosis. Yes, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Colleague, any help? Help? 
Yes, go ahead and hear, please. Sam, how are you? Man? Yes, go ahead. I wanted to suggest Mr. Green, and this is directly to Mr. Green. Yes. Mr. Green was in the PNC government for 28 years. Yes. What did this country achieve? All right, all right. Mr. Pia, oh. now you're telling people about Guyanese, oh. what's really excited over it. Tell your minister and your president to stop believing that I'm going to come and solve all this problem in this country. You got it what you must tell the people. Okay, then, thank you. Yeah. Right, Mr. Green, could you answer, please? Answer to that. Yes. Answer. If I answered him, it would take me at least two hours. Yeah, two hours. <laughs> okay. First of all, uh, in brief, Burnham and the PNC led Guyana out of the clutches of a very difficult colonial system where imperialism was at its height. Burnham and the PNC skillfully navigated this country through a very treacherous and dangerous Cold War. People don't understand how much the Cold War impacted on countries in Africa, Asia, and Latin America. There were coups because of the realities of the Cold War. And the person who called fails to understand what the Cold War is about. I invite him, he can come and see me, I will talk to him so you will understand what Guyana faced. Yes. Secondly, we embarked on a massive ambitious program to feed clothe and house ourselves. That's right. The PNC sought to make equality a reality okay. by making education free from kindergarten to university. Of course there were difficulties. Uh, the PNC gave Ghana a profile and a level of respect in the outer world that no one has since done. We were able to get positions at the United Nations Security Council far in excess of what our population yes. would have represented. <coughs> and I can go on and on yes. and on. The PNC cemented the whole concept of CARICOM, unity okay. in nations. It was the three great Bs that started the process even before independence, when Burnham, Bird, and Barrow met at Dixon Bay in Antigua okay. and crafted, initiated the idea of unity in the Caribbean. And as I said, to answer that yes. unfortunate statement, yes. it will take us hours okay. of what we did. There were problems. There was the oil crisis. There was a dis... Yeah. Yeah. We, had to face, yes. we had to face the problems of Venezuela. Yes, sir, that's right. The PNC got through what would have destroyed any other country. They attempted coup and rebellion in the Rupni in 1969. With the Hearts and the Melvilles who said they didn't want to be run. But so how, how many you know. people understand that? How many people understand that? Well, that's the beauty of this station yes. and the new process of educating yes. people. A lot of people don't know the realities. Okay, that's true. And um, as I said at the Burnham Foundation Symposium on, on two nights ago, Burnham's big problem, he was an impatient man and didn't allow the rest of us to catch up with his ideas, his vision for a new Guyana. And that was his feeling. He didn't allow us a chance to catch up. Um, no rice flour is now being used all over the world. Uh, we know important fruits that... Do you think we shall go, go back to rice flour? You think so? If we produce enough rice, yeah. why not take it to the yes, second yes, level? Yes. That is what uh, progress is all about. You know, you have to, to do what you call value added. Look at the coconut industry now. Yes, yes, yes. yes coconuts. It's become a big thing all over the world. And what is happening now, people are recognizing the value and utility of coconut oil. So we've got to keep planting more coconuts. Rice flour now. Rice flour now. We should go for it. It took, yeah. we could call for uh, research yeah. to put gluten in so it can be used okay. for roti and other things. You okay. can't use it as it is. Okay. But it's research that was started, but it was aborted after Burnham's demise. Okay. Call you in the head. Yes, sir. I want to uh, say something on the speaker there. Perfectly right. Yes. I am eight, seven years. That's how. You sound, you, you sound like 17. Yes. <laughs> this country has owed the UN a lot of money. That's why Mr. Burnham, we, we couldn't import for things and all of that. And this college he's talking about. I know people 
Holy had to type out letters to take to the university that they did not pay back that money. And a lot of things went on. I'm not saying he was right with every, everything. Okay. You understand? Nobody's not, per I, nobody's I not perfect. Nobody's not perfect. Nobody's not perfect. Yes. And because of yes. this, our fruit, I started to eat black cake, okay. which was good. And rice flour and, and whatever and things. But it was very, very hard at, at that time because okay. the country couldn't pay up the money they owe. Okay. And I do hope that this government is borrowing if it come a time that they're able to pay back what they're borrowing. Thank you. Thank you very oh, much. Please write what he's saying. Yeah. Okay. Mr. saw your response. Well, I think it's important that our young people be weaned back into the idea behind independence and republican status. A lot of young people, including our own families, particularly after the crisis of the 70s, the 80s, and the changes in the 90s, still mentally are looking to the north. Yes. Uh, United States, Europe, and even the Caribbean for their glory, their moments of comfort. Yeah. Um, I have two house guests who live in California. They want to come back here. Oh. Uh, it's going to be a slow process because okay. people who moved in this, since, since after the Second World War mm -hmm. to the north oh. have settled, they have children. Yes. It's not easy to uproot themselves okay. and come back here. But it will take time, and I have no doubt that people will begin to come back. The younger people, you see, the older people have started to come back with the pensions and so, but they're not at their most productive period. You want the young people in the 20s with the degrees to come back and be the engine of growth and development in this country. And they have to be so careful because of security, yes. security yes. issues. Yes. People are tracking people. Yes. I, I hope the, the police will observe what is happening on the East Coast now. Yes. These yes. banks of the East Coast, people yes. are being trailed yes. from the bank. That's so right. the police should have a plan okay. for that. Just like the, from the banks yes. in, in Georgetown, okay. the people are being trailed. Okay. And, 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 being a, and being attacked, a CARICOM uh, okay. uh, employee yes. was, was a, a recent okay. victim of... We still don't know anything about the crime rate now. It is rampant. It is bad. It's yeah, unfortunate. Yes. Yes. The president, I think, has taken the first step by indicating to the police force that he will not brook any impropriety and corruption because it has to start okay. there. And I hope he can clean the origin stables, get rid of those who are no good. It's not going to be easy. Nobody's not perfect. Nobody's not perfect. And, no, and, and, not and, perfect. and, and secondly, yes. Uh, yes. the call is right. Crime and criminality is interfering with the progress in this yes, country. Yes, People don't want to come back Though you have crime all over the world, yes. but when they come home, they want a special treatment. Okay. I'm going to say something that might be very controversial okay. on your station. I hope yes. you don't mind. Yes. With the present condition, I would resume executions for people who commit murder and people who uh, use violent means to rob and maim people. It's, but, it's but, controversial. But, but, it's, in conflict with the Christian okay. principles. My own family don't agree with me, but I believe for a short period we should bring it back. Yes. When Hoyt started to hang yes. people, yes. Yes. there was a lull yes. in this yes. thing, you know. Yes. I mean, people, you go in a man's house, yes. kill him, yes. maim him, and you get a nice get, lawyer, get off, you get off the and then we have to <laughs> feed you. Yes. It's, it's absurd. Do you think President Grisha agree, agree with that? But he'd stick to me as he just said. <laughs> Yeah. President Grange is a man of great principle, okay. and he's a good Christian. Yeah. I haven't discussed it with him, yes. but I suspect it may not <laughs> go down well with no, him. Because human life. Is, is but I, uh, yes, it's sanctity to life. You, see, you, don't, you can't take another person's life. But as an old-time politician, I would hang them high for at least a period until this thing. Okay. I mean, look, we've had over the past few years, since this collision, People killing grandmothers for a few cents yes. in Festival City. Yes. 
The lady who look after church in South Road, yeah. two persons. Yes, I know the person. It's, it's, it's... Well, it's well, it's well, our law seems to be a very strange one. We, we could get off on manslaughter. People facing a murder charge getting off on manslaughter. And they had a reduced sentence. Of Call it your name. Hello. Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm with some green and some pink. Yes, yes. yes. Now, I agree with what Tommy said just now. <laughs> pertaining to the criminals. Yeah. If you go in a man out of Philly, don't worry you, man, right there. All you just look at things one side. You got a right to kill him. Because he's not right coming in you out. Okay. Ah, a thief man is a murderer. Yes. There's the rule. Okay. I agree with the part. Okay. But then he said, pertaining to yes, everything nice, with the government, it's a good government, but this same government, they're hiding 80 million dollars from this nation. <laughs> okay. We got that one, we got that one. Yes, yes. We're watching young oh, people. Yes. Now, who people, who people, persons who are yes. knowledgeable, yes. would know it was Barnum and Dagon who find the, find the colonial people. You need to let your people yes. know that. Yes. But to be one-sided okay. with that issue. Okay, thank you very much. No, no, we're clear. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes. No more issues. They got that advertisement for the TV. Yes. Tell your guy he's going to have a good life. Look how much people there today without food. We're going on. Another thing I want to tell all you. Oh. I'm getting all these benefits. I found a man I have been <laughs> to talk about. Yes, yes. And I got a 1,106 contribution. Okay. I got a... Uh, I've just uh, gone sit at arbitration on a young woman who, but then I know we can arrest the pay, can ask for a gun, man. Oh. What's going on in this country? Okay. Very senior citizens got benefit. Okay. Tell me. What is, what is, what is, what is, what is your view now? What is your view? What's going on in this country? A whole set of brain What is some of your view? Tell me what's some of your view now. Huh? What's some, some of your view? My view? Yeah. I, I tell you, I agree with him in the criminal. Okay. That's one. Okay, okay then. Oh, and the other, I have, people need to get the benefit. Okay. There's no people okay. suffering okay. with okay. NIS. Okay. I don't, I have to go and get me contribution from yeah. the yeah. Ghana Defense Force. And tell it to them. Okay. So, so when they tell you about their contribution, okay. it's called Dougal Ugo in NIS. You think they should withdraw their investment in the Burbage Bridge? I don't, I don't say I'm going to say I'm going to the need to get paid back is the money invested there. You saw I need to pay them. Okay. I just need money. Okay. There's all I see. Okay, thank you. The trouble with NIS is that the last actual report that I know of suggested they couldn't increase the benefits. Okay. I myself expressed concern, I think Dr. Mitchell did, that because of the last government raping the uh, NIS treasury money, that there's this absurdity. If I'm under 50 or whatever it is, I can get certain health benefits. If I go over that age, I can't. The absurdity is you're more likely to need health facilities yes. when you're over 50, 60, over 70. 60, yeah. Over 60, you don't get if, if So it's, it's the reverse. Yeah. Yeah. But the actual report suggested the okay. NIS could do much more. Okay. I hope with a retooled NIS, and the fluxing of time okay. that this can be corrected. Okay. I myself raised it because yeah. and Dr. It, Dr. Mitchell raised it. If a heart condition emerges, it, it wouldn't cover you at all. No, no, no it's ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, what are you hanging out, Mr. Granger? Well, yeah. I, as I said, yes. I know my expressions yes. will be controversial. Okay. I haven't discussed it with the president yes. and the leader of the party. Yes. I suspect that being a very proper person, he may not share my views. I don't okay. know. But I suspect that all those persons who have been victims of this violence I will certainly share my views for a time. Well, I, I, I believe yeah. in the sanctity of life. But what I think is happening now, the people are getting reduced sentences for heinous crime. Yes. And then maybe we should have a little island out there yes. and where we put these people, let them stay there for, for their lifetime. You know, it's not, so it, it, they shouldn't be a part of society. Who will mind these people? Are, who will mind them support the yeah, yeah, Exactly. You said the roughest yeah, yeah. guys, yeah. You know, the guys who, the top police who yes. don't make jokes, put them in charge of them. I say top police manager, just go with you. But you see, we, we, we talk about this, 
human rights people. Yeah. In the United States, people are still executed, okay. and that's a country we look to. Uh, in Europe, in other parts of the world, there's still, you know, not only for murder, but for other heinous crimes. And we've lost a few generations, and it may be to take very harsh measures to correct it. It's, it's a serious problem. It's, even I say so, it's, it's not a simple story. But, yes. but, but too many are getting off in the courts now, yes. uh, feeding man, uh, manslaughter and then getting off with a light sentence. What, what bothers me yeah. is that I remember as a young man, I grew up in Old oh Boys Town, Charles Town. Even the known thieves uh -huh. did not do certain things, did not trouble certain people. Okay. But there seem to be a breed of yeah, gentlemen and ladies who have no respect for anyone, anything. I mean, <laughs> imagine going to church to steal money. I think you're influenced it couldn't by, happen. The, by, the media, by the films they see and what that, the media. It's a little more than that. Okay. I mean, I, I don't understand it. I remember my father had a drugstore, and sometimes he would take his little alcohol, yeah. and he did not lock up his drugs were probably one night. Okay. And a known thief came to our house yes. in House Street and said, Doc, you haven't locked up properly. Okay. That won't happen today. Yes. You know? well, well, in, in, I, I remember my father saying, when, and I noticed this happened too, when, when somebody stole from you and so on, you, you know the, 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 the fellows who, yes. who uh, you go and check John, with German and Fenty yes, yes. and say, well, uh, yes. he will, so, and I remember somebody saying, well, the guy go look in the book, see, these guys are not, no, I don't know. They will, they will be able to tell you who, you know, uh, you know, if, you know. In those days, you, you can know, you, you can find out who, who the people who, who, who. A, a, a certain yes. Minister of Home Affairs, yeah. Stella Odiali, when <laughs> she was in the cabinet, yeah. had her jewelry stolen. She came to, push, she came yeah. to me. Yeah. I just got the word out and she got it back. Okay. I don't know that will happen today. Okay. No, it's a different breed today. But in those days, you could get things back because you know the chaps who were the middlemen and, and who were involved. You know, the fellas had yeah. their own rules. Yes. They had respect for certain people. Okay. Yeah. But something's happened in our society that that has gone. But in lack of prayer? Hmm? But we need more prayer? <laughs> we need prayers. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Call you on here. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Yes. Yes. Yeah. First of all, I want to remind about the camp march on Monday. It's yes. a legal camp march sanctioned with the relevant authority. Yes. Well, to the spirit of the revolution. Yes. yes. I thought Mr. Stahl would have been there. Yes. And I know he had flyers that he could show and yes. stuff. It, it starts with the clock. Yes. Yeah, I just want to remind about that. Okay. Thank you very much. Now, one more point <laughs> concerning what was being said. I um, will not accept from this government or any government that the people will not prosper. Okay. Boram did not have the oil and the people have to prosper. Okay. That's to make the people prosper. Yes. He had a program, free clothes house, the 1976, when 1976 come, he said, we haven't succeeded, but we have gone a far way. You could look around and see. Life is simple. Wisdom is found in the simplest places. This is a complicated thing. It's not reality. Venezuela is suffering because all the oil money was divided among the elites and the American oil merchants. Okay. This is a fact. What Chavez inherit is only oil. The whole country was in the hands of the elites. Poor people owned nothing. They weren't even educated. Okay. And that is why Venezuela is suffering. They never grow nothing. They never do nothing. They, they imported every single thing. Okay. Right now, you could get Lamborghini. You could get Porsche. You could get Rolls Royce selling at car exhibitions in Venezuela. That's what people don't know. But you won't go with the elite to be because they got the big car show. Okay. They got that big money to go in there. Yes. But these things are going on. They own the supermarkets. They own everything. They land everything. The cattle farming or whatever else little they have. But they import everything. They spiritual home is Miami. They have houses over there. Yes. This is why they're going to... This is what Chavez them in here. And okay. the government only control the oil. Yes. They don't control the country. 
and this is why people suffer. It has nothing to do with it's hard to run country and all that kind of thing. Okay. No, it is the sharing of the wealth. Yeah. Earn them, prove this. Prove this. Everybody has free education and free actualization. Share out the land. What is there everybody supposed to have? This country got people living nice, 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 you know, now in the private sector, you know, yes. as things going on behind yes, yes. the back of the people. And I want to know, did the people inherit this country? Okay. No, the people didn't inherit this country. Okay. Only in Bonham time. When Bonham okay. time finished, they didn't inherit it tomorrow. Okay. Somebody has owned it because they ain't getting access to the funds from the resources that are being sold. It's given away. Okay. That's the fact. I won't accept anything less from this government. Okay. And the point is this, if you're in the cricket team, you score and share fives and threes and twos and use a bat <laughs> okay. No, you're supposed to be in the team. Yeah. So if the government cannot do it, they yeah. need to go. Okay, okay. Not like the TTP, just like them, because okay. you're, you're getting your chance. Other people, there always got other people who could do it. Okay. I thought I could do a good job. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Mr. Green, what do you think about the private sector now? The private sector. Well, the private sector has to check. How do you behave in? <coughs> behave in good? Well, the... <laughs> Private sector has always been tacky turn. Okay. Um, tilting with the wind. Yeah. Uh, you have a private sector that is still wedded to importing and selling things. Okay. You want a private sector that, and some of them have started, yeah? A private sector that is going to go into the interior, build, make sacrifices, and take chances and use the new opportunities which are available themselves to help educate our people and train them. The private sector has a very important role to play in the development of our society. And a lot has to do with the level of responsibility that we get out of the private sector. That's all I want to say at the moment. Why do you say I want to get out of the private, out of the private sector? What do, you, what do you mean by that? What? Get out of the private sector. Get rid? Yeah, yeah yes. I, d I don't agree with that. Who said that? You say get out, get out of the private sector. No, the private sector has an important role to play. Okay, okay. And they must act responsibly, be courageous. They've got to take chances. That's what business is all about. And they've got to understand the environment of the world in which okay. we operate and not just want to import okay. and sell things. Call you in the head. Hello. Hello. Hello? 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 Yes. I think I'm in love with people for that. But we live on the hip for jumpy people. All right, good. Thanks. <laughs> we can talk, he was here. But everybody's been allowed to yes, talk. Yes, we didn't stop, we didn't stop anybody, anybody to talk. <laughs> but he just talked, he just spoke. He yes, yes. <laughs> no, oh, you're the hell of it. Yeah, junk, you're junky. Hello? Good afternoon, Mr. Good, Sam. Good afternoon. You cut me off. Yeah. I didn't cut you off. Yes, you cut me off. No, the phone was cut off. I was the person that was talking with you and I. Yes. Okay, and you cut me off. No, no, I didn't, I didn't. Continue. No, I got a bad dream that I took to the NIS. His name is Owen K. That is bad. Yeah, yes. And the NIS told the man I can't do the record. He did. And the man's still alive. <laughs> and I'm to show you this called doggery. That goes on at 10 years. Okay. That's what the start. They cut me off just now when I'm talking about the NIS. Okay, okay. They're telling you now it's an incident. Yes. And I could cut the man I'm all in case. Yes. And I took him to NIS pertaining to extension. Okay. And you know what they told him there? Yes. In my presence, I can't tell you record he did. Yes. So that is to show you what goes on at the NIS. Okay. You understand? Let me say it's reality, you know. Not that the judge got his program, for okay. Carlin program, okay. and people think, and the people still do it wherever they okay. do it. Because they were going on in this country. You call it in, let me highlight things because they don't want to see it. Okay. Thank you, Nothing bro. Thank you. Nothing is being done. Yes, thank you very much. Yeah. Well, he has to get information to the GM and IS <laughs> to investigate it. Every story has... What I want to say. That's a problem. There might be an exception to the rule. I, yeah. think, I don't think it happens all the time. Just maybe some mistake yeah. was made somewhere. Yeah. Call your name. Yeah. Call your name. Yeah. He's, he just, he's, yeah. he's a joker. Yeah. 
Call it, Hannah. You, you gotta get the you have a delay thing. Yeah. Yeah, we got we record every what is any. So we have a delay so just yes, yes, if they yes, say yes, anything that's yes, vulgar. Yes, yes. Well, mm -hmm. Call you in here. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yeah, Mr. Sean, good afternoon to Mr. Sanchez and Mr. Green. Yes. Good afternoon. I'm glad Mr. Green is back. Now, a few weeks ago, I talked about the city council yes. and about the TP market, right? And Mr. Green was telling me where I got my facts from and all of that. Yes. Well, in the papers, the Auditor General, right? The city council cannot provide vouchers of payment of 173.5 million from the city council. Okay. 60 million was included for the TP market, 23.9 million for the city engineers building, 13.5 million for the constabulary headquarters, 12.9 billion million for the Albertstown clinic, okay. and so on and so on. Where you got your fast from? Where you got your fast from? The <laughs> newspapers. You speak because we buy it. You speak, you speak, fake, 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 fake. No, that's what the other generals on TV and the other. No, the, 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 the yeah. point about it is. They, they've been ordered uh, uh, an audit, and the auditor general will have his report prepared. Yeah, that's right. And if there's anyone culpable, they'll be made to pay the price. Yes, yes, yes. yes Mr. Green, I'm glad you admit that now. But when you were covering Mayor Green and, and the Tom Clark, you know, and people were giving you information, yes. you, you, you were covering them. All I'm saying, I don't respond to hearsay. That is not here to say, that is from the Auditor General. Oh, saying, but what, I, what I'm saying, my friend, yes. the Auditor General will do a thorough report, and when that report is ready, let us see what happens. I yes, don't think... Know that, but the information is that things were happening at the city council, and now the Auditor General has stepped in. Well, all I'm saying, I am not prepared to prejudge a situation once the Auditor General has taken charge, yes. and that's a good thing. So I don't know, you, 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 let's yeah. wait and see. Oh, you don't know the facts, Mr. Gray, but you know the facts in other stories. You, know, you don't know the facts in this. <laughs> no, look, concerning the GBTI um, information that was they weren't submitting to the, to the SOHU, right? Yeah, yeah. Mr. Gray was in that program saying that how, how come the bank can't submit information and all of that? Well, the Durban Park, right? The office, the office of the president, they're not submitting the information to the Auditor General to add it that. And nobody's saying anything about that. Under the green, you cannot be one-sided. Under the Constitution, the Auditor General has full reign, full authority to investigate any money that flows from government funds government. and the yes. consultative fund. But I'm just giving you examples. But listen, 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 my friend, general. listen, listen to me. That's I, why uh, the bank doesn't want to supply information to Soku. Okay. But nobody's okay. talking about the the actually president. Oh. Okay, then, thanks. <laughs> Wait. Well, you know, talk is easy. Yes. And I don't know that the other general is constrained by any agency. Where's officer president or who? We had an officer, the officer president, who we found doing strange things. Yes. He was sent off, and the matter, I think, is before the courts. Well, you had another public office, Well, yeah. you know, it's sometimes it is not the political directorate, but the functionaries. And I'm not prepared to say anything for the city hall okay. until we get a report. Okay. Hmm? Yeah. Call it your name, right? Deal with that. Okay. You know, if, if you call and complain the about police, noise, police, 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 exactly. The second thing is yeah. zoning. 
Yeah. Why should we have these nightclubs being opened in residential areas? You know, that's I not another I place. I think I'm <coughs> we, we have another place called Rio, where they said they got about 100 Venezuelan yeah. women now. They're, they're flocking from, from Venezuela, right? They said they even got teachers and, and so on coming from Venezuela. How do you know that? A guy who went there told me. Okay. Okay. okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what I'm saying is that yes. why do you allow these places okay. to be open residential okay. areas? Call you in the help. You look at his ship. He moved. All right. Call you in the help. He did a distracted the program. Distracted. Yes. Yes. Good Sir. Good afternoon. Mr. Green. Sir. I used to live off of Nuni. With that story, what you are saying. Up in Rupununi, a lot of people used to mind their cattle. And Mr. Barnum used to order the soldier to take part of the people on him. What, you what is your fact? So, what facts do you have in that? Right 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 right. No, what facts do you have that, man? I was sitting there. And where you live? Where you live? Tell me where you live. And the president from Venice. Oh, man, tell me where you live. Where you live? Where you So, come the soldier and the Man, you recognize the he just wanted to talk. No, you have these people who yeah, yes. are out for mischief, yeah, mischief yes. and to create conditions by saying things that which are absurd. Yeah, that's right. But that's, that's their own form of propaganda. Oh. But I can't encourage that. No, you can't encourage that. Hello, hello. Mr. Sharma. Yes. I watch this program and just now, you're asking the Mali, you're asking the Mali get the information. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Mr. Sankey tell you, he get the information <laughs> pertaining to the club from people. Now we got to understand, you can't get people just calling in and talking things because they want to talk. Yes. No, man. The woman is green and you saying. You no, need no, no, people no. raising a leg to you. The man said he used to live in Rupununi. He know of these incidents. How you know so you know? Tell me, Mr. Santi. How you know about something that Mr. Santi tell you? Some friend tell you. What a big deal. Hello, oh. man. Let me be big people and deal with things as a dog. Yeah. And the man said, the man specifically said he was living there when the fuse is to happen. Yeah. You know, we gotta accept it. That's what the man <coughs> is telling you. Okay. But you, for some reason, yeah. always to be naive, man. Yeah. Not even we are big people oh. and dealing with this thing. Don't be biased okay. or one-sided. Okay. You need to deal with things practically in this oh. country, oh. Thank my, you very much. My friend, I know the voice is a certain yeah, yeah. PP council who yeah, lives in right. Tiger Bay. Uh, he, 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 you say no demand before? You, 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 you. Yeah, I pass me down at some green. I don't have in Tiger Bay. You don't even know me. What the hell is on green? You saw a cloud from the time I know you. I only be going to have my stump. You've been in the house, I've been in the house, my stump. All right. You don't tell uh, me them stupidness. Okay. Right. They are ridiculous on this television. You, you're not sobers? I don't live in, I never live in Tiger Bay. You're not sobers? Man, yeah, you see, you run the world with your rod, you call the people there, but run them. The people to sue you. <laughs> you the people to do you. Uh, sue me. Yeah. Sue me. <laughs> All right, Sobers. <laughs> yes. I know his voice. Call you. Hello. <laughs> yeah, you see, I know that. I know that. Is he sheep? <laughs> yeah, the sheep are good. The other one yeah. called the one called yeah, the one called the one called the one called the Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I see you don't really have a program today. I'll have a discussion. But what I want to say, I want to agree with Mr. Green where the killing is concerned. I think President Green just should come up with a seat we sit in on fun. No, because no, no. things are getting more ridiculous in this country. Too many people are losing their lives innocently because of oh. thieves and crime. Yeah. And we got to do something about this. Mr. Ike was the right man for this country, right? <laughs> and right. I tend to agree with Mr. Green, right? And I know others in this country would agree. Yeah. We got to stop this thing somewhere or the other, man. Okay. It's ridiculous, man. Oh. And I won't, be, I won't be voting for this government anymore if they don't do something about these people that are killing out people 
and this Stephen policeman when they got in this place. Okay. Some Stephen police, some some of them. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is expressive views. Yes, yes, yes. That's the beauty that of this program. program. That's right. And That's right. Um, yes. uh, it's it's a matter that needs serious consideration. Yes. I have no doubt that there will be a body of people who will approach the cabinet members on this question, and they will have to consider the human rights aspect of it, the injunction that thou shalt not kill, and whether it is felt that other remedial measures would take care of the crime situation. Uh, maybe my position is too radical. I'm not thinking it out. Maybe I'm just emotional. But as said, I think it will help. Okay. Call you here. Hello. Yeah, Mr. Chama, yes. concerning the crime. Yes. Why bore them they have to harm people? You know why? God provided things for the youth. The youth was this focus. Okay. National service and also all the different multilateral yes, yes, education yes. was free. People in Antigua yes, coming yes. for a dollar. Yes, price control, rent control. He provided for the people. Yes. Venezuela is a more capital, you know. You know why? Because all the money of capital elite okay. and the people at the bottom living in ghettos. It is what bottom top the gate. I see, I saw by Tong Tong to one spot got a little problem and there was wrong top. Yes. He still had a little jam yes. I see the whole of my tongue, me mother used to go and spend time all the time known as a lady in Albay Tong. Yes. Because yes. Albay Tong changed on the bottom. Tiger Bay changed. You must have one or two little spots selling cookies. Yes. Other than that, it's a rock tongue. Yes. People doing positive yes. things and craft. Yes. And both bottom yes. promote yes. yes. culture. And the artists, people get to go out the country and they get to go to Califesto and this and that. The money was spent on the people. Yes. That's why born not to hang people. And that is why in Cuba was the same thing. Yes. Everybody get what is there. It has to be shared. And that's the problem with the last 23 years. Yes. yes. I'm a rock star yes. came from Mr. Hyde. Yes. When he changed everything, I'm more price control and rent control and country con control. If you have one piece of meat with your dogs and the hyenas and the lions, everybody going to fight. And okay. this is going on. You have to bring back national services, the first thing I see the government should have done. And the 80 million, I tell them, take 9 million, bring back national services, and take 9 million, and open back the co-op bank, that in co-op, let, let's show back the people out of one co-op, and let us get going. Mr. Reddy, on national services. Thank you. I, I agree with the last caller completely. I'm a Burnamite. Uh, I know the present is looking at yes. restarting yes. some form of national yes. service. Yes, they will gradually is part of a coalition. Yes. National service is not only expensive, yes. but you have to get the right people. To the worst thing can happen is to start yes. national yes. service right and the middle management are not correctly oriented and themselves let the side down. Burnham was lucky. He had some enormous Guyanese, Joe yes. Singh, yes. Norman yes. McLean, uh, a whole lot of people. He West. West. He just was lucky. But McLean still exists? Who? McLean. McLean and Joe Singh are both alive. Oh, oh they're alive. Oh. <laughs> and um, they're, they're uh, credi credible officers yes, yes. who did fan a fantastic yes, job at National yes. Service. Carl, you're near. Yes, Mr. Barnell. Yes. I want to ask this question. Yes. Is it? Possible to bring back self help. Mr. Bonham had that. Okay. Self help. And people want food to eat there. Everybody talking. Yes. They don't have food and they don't have yes. this. Yes. And we should bring back yes. self help. Okay. Cool. And give the people yes. food yes. to eat. Okay. And give them the material. Okay, we asked Mr. Grinter, uh, respond to that. I get, I agree. Yes. There was a symposium at St. Sands yes. College yes. two nights ago. Yes. And the conclusion was that we have to persuade the government to reintroduce step by step Burnham's ideas, his philosophy, his vision. Um, that was the theme of the symposium, and that was the conclusion. If you look at the things Burnham sought to do, even in difficult circumstances, they're valid, they're relevant at this period of our history. And that is my position. And what the, the last two callers said, I agree with them completely. Okay. President Granger has a difficulty. First of all, he's part of a coalition, 
And secondly, he has to mobilize the resources, both human and financial, to do these things. Uh, I know that he's made a magnificent start, a courageous start, by announcing recently, he, fought, he didn't use the word national service, I think, uh, youth, militia. no, I think he said youth core. He's also encouraging the establishment of militia in, in certain communities. Okay. And it's a start. Remember, we, you, you, you're trying to repair 23 years of damage. Yeah, it's not easy. I, but people feel that there's an urgent need yeah, because yeah. most of the criminal activities engage the youth. The youth are the one who committed the murders. We know those youth are the 20s, yeah. grew up under the PP, oh. you know. You must, we must yeah. put things in context. Yeah. They grew up at a time when they had a different orientation, a different theology, if you want to put it that way. And that is what made them, okay. you know. Call it here, hello. Good afternoon. People need to understand yes. that they are responsible 